The structure of the Elder Futhark. The study of runes. Таблица трех этов рун. The table of the three ats of runes. Twenty-four runes are divided into three groups, each containing eight runes. The first eight runes in the first at signify the basal forces that are invested into us by nature. They are given to humans by nature herself. The runes of this at will be awakening these forces within you and will test the degree of their manifestation. Their presence is indeed confirmed, but not their manifestation. Are they blocked? Are they turned off? Are they perhaps fixed in a certain stasis or limited by specific rules of manifestation? You wouldn't find this out without runes, but with the runes, not only will you know, but also gain the understanding of what to do next in order to unlock these limitations. And so the work with the limitations will ensue on the second ad of runes. The second ad is specifically developed in order to hone certain instruments before anything else, those of your own consciousness, instruments of will and magic that will be personalized and helping you release these limitations, not counting on the higher power of gods, not counting on magic as if it will resolve everything for you. You will count only on yourself, on your will, and on your warrior mastery to remove vulnerabilities from your consciousness. There will be specific runes for this, special instruments, of course. And the third ad of runes, the ultimate one, will tell you and teach you about achieving results, which, of course, based on the awakened forces of the first ad and accomplished instrumental mastery of the second ad. All of this together will show you how you can interact with this world more effectively, basically indicating your professional specialization, your magical specialization. It will be manifested in the third ad. After each ad, we will take breaks and discuss, capture the results, in a way that when we come to the last rune, to Dagaz, we will come to it with a consciousness that is absolutely concentrated to one single point, which will pass through the narrow opening of Dagaz, a point of bifurcation of transformation. And the transformation will take place so you can once again return to the first rune, Thehu. You will return to it fully comprehending your rights as well as having established your rights in this world. In this way, the runes will close into a circle within our consciousness, akin to a Mobius strip, which is infinite, just like time will become infinite for you, like the process of learning. And all these runes, wrapped into a circle, will become an everlasting running program of transformation, instantly recounting all new data that appears in your consciousness. This data, like instances, they will flash through the entire Futhark pathway, every time bringing you to a new result, a new understanding, a new establishment of rights, a new skill, new mastery, new knowledge. And all of this will happen in the matter of a split second. Therefore, the long path that we will undertake uploading runes to our consciousness by implanting them into ourselves eventually will yield us this complete system of transformation along the entire Elder Futhark.